Mitsubishi is putting its money where its mouth is. The Japanese automaker says it wants to help our country's economy and proves it by investing in a new 2 billion peso stamping plant that will support its local auto assembly operations. When Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Incorporated celebrated the rollout of the 600,000th vehicle the company assembled in its more than half a century of operations in the country, company executives promised it would continue to build more vehicles locally. MMPC officials said that it was supporting and participating in the government's Comprehensive Automotive Resurgence Strategy or CARS program and was already awaiting the approval of its application and certifications as a member of the CARS. A few days after rollout, MMPC hosted another celebration of sorts. This time, it's groundbreaking ceremonies for the planned 2 billion peso stamping facility in Laguna. Indicating the significance of building a stamping facility may be the first ever facility to be part of a major auto assembly operation in the country, top executives of MMPC and Mitsubishi Japan were there for the ceremonies, including MMPC President and CEO Yoshiyaki Kato, Mitsubishi Motors Corporation Senior Executive Officer Hiro Kuruhara, MMPC EVP Masuhiro Maruyama, MMPC EVP, CFO, and Treasurer Hirofumi Shibata, MMPC EVP Shigeru Ogura. Representing the government at the groundbreaking were Department of Trade and Industry Undersecretary and Board of Investment Vice Chairman and Managing Head Seferino F. Rodolfo and CARS Program Director Romulo V. Manlapig of the Board of Investments. Also picking up the shovel during the ceremonial groundbreaking riots were Minister of Embassy of Japan in the Philippines, Makoto Ion, Sojit's Chief Operation Officer Hiroto Murai, and Hidetochi Anami, Deputy in Charge of Building, Construction, and Engineering International Operation of Taisei Corporation. The stamping facility is a vital part of MMPC's plans to make its Laguna factory as a hub for the assembly of the Mirage. The stamping plant is expected to be in full operations early in 2018. Uh, we received a certification of registration, certificate of registration for CAS program from BOI. Uh, officially, we received finally. Then uh, today, we, uh, we had a, a groundbreaking ceremony for our stamping shop. Uh, we start construction soon and then uh, it will be uh, completed sometime mid next year. Then uh, full operation will start uh, early, maybe January 2018. MMPC expects the stamping facility to help meet its conditions and requirements for enjoying the benefits and incentives under the CARS program, while also helping it cut costs in the long run. One of the uh, terms and conditions is uh, we need to have 50% uh, of uh, such panel, outer panel parts uh, need to be lo localized. So we have uh, our own stamping shop because uh, we can get some kind of cost advantage and also uh, production of such parts can be flexible. Stamping plant provides the uh, stamping facilities for uh, metal parts that can become uh, the major component of the body of a vehicle. Rather than import them, do it here. And to do that, we need a very, very heavy equipped uh, stamping plant. The introduction of the stamping plant is expected to benefit the local automotive industry and local economy in terms of the transfer of technology and more employment. Actually, uh, employment, uh, we need more people uh, to, um, yeah, we need to hire. Uh, and also, uh, we, of course, we have a press shop and we need to buy such metal sheets. Uh, material. So we will have some new, new relationship with uh, suppliers. Uh, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines is owned also by Mitsubishi Motors Japan. And to do the activity under the CARS program, we are bringing in uh, several manufacturing plant uh, companies from Japan to join forces with Philippine manufacturing companies. So together they can each uh, develop 
and then produce parts for the vehicles that we have uh, prepared for the CARS program. The government appreciates Mitsubishi's confidence in the local automotive industry and commitment to invest more in the country. Today is truly an auspicious day as we undertake this major milestone. So now we have the Executive Order 182, which provides for a comprehensive automotive resurgence strategy or the CARS program. It's really a first of its kind fiscal support program that will jumpstart the resurgence of Philippine automotive manufacturing. Now, almost a year after EO 182 was signed and following the approval of two participating car makers, we from the DPI DOI are pleased to witness this groundbreaking ceremony which signals the actual official start of program implementation. Mitsubishi has high expectations in the country and sees a bright future for itself and the industry in general. We have high expectations or very uh, on this market. Uh, we expect very bright future in this market. So uh, we are now a market share is 16, 17 percent, and but we are trying. We will try to increase it to uh, 20 percent, and. Uh, Yes, uh, we will consider introducing new models and then uh, we are very keen to contribute to the uh, development of uh, economies in this country. The CARS program is encouraging and challenging car makers to increase the local content of vehicles being assembled in the country. And Mitsubishi is one of those who answer the challenge. Wouldn't it be a big achievement when we can one day truly say a vehicle can be described as made in the Philippines and can be said with pride?